Hey everybody, this is Nick with Rogue Overland. And in this video, we're gonna take you out on an adventure in the Ross Monster Overland Expedition Vehicle dubbed the Baja. Coming from a background of mid-size overland vehicles, we were definitely excited when Ross Monster reached out and asked if we would do a video on the Baja. Now the Baja is much bigger than your typical forerunner with a rooftop tent. It's built as an expedition style vehicle on a Ford platform. And what they've tried to do here is make it more compact and lighter than other similar expedition style vehicles so that it'll be more capable and get you to some of those more remote destinations that you'd want to go to. And they've done all that while not sacrificing the luxury and comfort that you get with a build like this. Now we're going to do this video a little different than some of our other walk around videos. We have this bad boy for three days and we're going to take you out on a little adventure. We're going to do some mountain biking, some camping, hit some fire roads, maybe do some paddle boarding. We'll see what we find along the way but we want to show you what it's like to go out and adventure in this bad boy and along the way give you some information about what this vehicle has to offer. Now before we get into it, I'd like to ask you please, if you enjoy outdoor and off-road content like this, smash that like button, hit the bell button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, that really helps us get this video out to more like-minded outdoor enthusiasts like yourself. So we're out here at Trestles Bike Park, we're gonna do some mountain biking. And the great thing about a rig like this is that you have a lot of space to be able to get changed, do whatever you need to do. So we're gonna get changed into some riding equipment, get out and hit the trail. All right, suit it up, let's go ride. We basically just finished our morning morning runs and we're gonna come in, gonna open up a couple windows, open up the skylight, gonna turn on the fan, get some air flowing through here. It's gonna be nice and cool. We're out of the sun. We're gonna make some lunch and then we'll sit down at the table, enjoy some lunch before we head out for some more riding. So it's really nice, it's comfortable to just get out of the sun, get in a cool area and relax and have lunch before we head back out. <laughs> so we had a great day mountain biking. We just returned the rental bikes. And, uh, now let's uh, load up and go find camp. So far we've had this thing out on fire roads and the I-70 and then some back highways and what we've noticed so far is that it's really comfortable. It's uh, able to cruise at speeds and I mean it's a big truck obviously but it doesn't feel like it's weighted down. It does just fine getting up and going, maneuvering uh, between lane changes and then also had plenty of power when we were climbing. Some of the, the fire roads we were on yesterday had some pretty steep grades and 
some sharp turns and the truck just motored through it just fine uh, washboards unsettle it just a just a little bit but I mean our van does the same thing and I think that's just the fact that you have 60 or 80 psi in, in the rear tires and so you're gonna get some unsettling of the suspension when you go over washboards so so far it's been really comfortable just as far as the driving of the vehicle goes so what we want to show you here is how easy it is to set up camp Vicki take it away all right, I'm just going to come up to the control panel, find the preset button, raise it up. Simple as that. Now, how easy is it to break down camp? It's as easy as a push of a button. So finished up a great day of mountain biking, found a great place to set up camp and have dinner. And uh, this is the Colorado River right here. So we basically just did a little ice bath, soaked in it for a little bit. And then I wanna to talk to you about another one of the great things about a rig like this. So this rig is equipped with an outdoor shower that has hot water. So pretty awesome. Basically you just plug the thing into the side and Voila, you have turn the pump on, turn the, the little heater module on, and you have hot water. So we were able to take a swim in the river right over there, and then just walk right up and bam, hot water, take a shower. It was great. And since this is a G-rated video, no footage of that, but I could tell you it was fantastic. As you can see from the video clip I just showed you, we did not wake up where we started camp. And that's because we went for a little hike and noticed that where we were was actually a day use area. So help keep stuff open and respect, you know, things that are day use, clothes, things like that. So we packed up, which was easy to do with this thing, and headed out, found somewhere to camp on BLM land. And then this morning, we just made a little stop by the uh, Sulphur Hot Springs, and that was a cool little hot spring uh, area. They say it's a resort, but not so much. I mean, if you've done hot springs, you know they're usually a little rough. Um, so it, that, that was cool though. And two things we always have to stop for is ice cream, homemade ice cream shops, and hot springs. So we did that, and then now we are on our way. We're gonna see if we can find a paddle boarding adventure today. So. We'll see what we can see what we can find. Just wrapped up a little morning of paddle boarding had a blast out there and another one of the great things about this style of rig is that convenience that we've kind of that's a pattern that that's showing up as we go throughout this adventure and what we're doing right now is we're just out here we're gonna make some lunch and they have the induction cooktop so basically just warm that bad boy up and then we're making a little little lentil, lentil pasta and peas and it's just super convenient. 
I'm not hiding out, I'm not hiding out on the side of a rig with a with a gas burner stove. Uh, I'm not sitting out in the sun. I'm in the shade, the fan's going, and we're just gonna sit down and have a great lunch. So we wrapped up paddle boarding yesterday. We stopped in Nederland, had a little lunch, and then uh, went out and found a camp spot. We got into camp pretty late last night. I think we're camping on some Forest Service land somewhere off a of Boulder Canyon uh, highway. And uh, it was pretty late, but like, like usual, this thing sets up camp real easy. So it's a matter of just parking level, hitting the button, and crawling in the back. You're pretty much good to go. So what we did here was basically tried to give you an experience of using this and some of the the functional and practical things about it so what i want to do now is just take you through a, a rundown of some of the features of this vehicle in a more concise fashion so the exterior the shell's made out of composite and it's on a custom aluminum frame to help minimize weight there's the four electronic actuators that help raise the top which you've seen earlier in this video the exterior has LED light bars from Baja Designs. So we have the one across the top of the composite shell and two down in the bumpers. Uh, these have come in very handy. We've come into camp pretty late several times and, uh, and, and they've, they've worked out really well. And then we have the, there's a custom airbag suspension as well to help this vehicle deal with the weight that it's carrying on the back. Um, I mean, this is a big vehicle, no question about it, but We've had it on the forest roads, we had it on the, the Twisty Canyon roads, on the highway, and it's not bad. I mean, this thing cruises at 65 miles an hour, no problem. Didn't feel any excessive sway. I mean, we, we were going through the canyons at, at the speed limit without any problems. So it, 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 handles, what the, it handles what it's carrying very, very well. Uh, additionally, on the exterior, we have, there's the custom bumpers. So on the front, the custom bumper houses a Warren winch and then those two Baja Designs fog lights. And on the rear, the bumper has extra storage on both sides. There's a storage compartment tucked underneath. So it, it works very well. On the roof, there is the Zamp Solar. There's, there's, ample, there's ample solar up there that's, that's powering for all of the, uh, the battery pack and then all your internal stuff, which we'll talk about soon. And then the last two things on the interior, exterior, we have the, there's the awning run across the passenger side. Uh, we didn't use it on this trip, but uh, it is there if, if sitting out under the awning is, is your style. And then lastly, there's the Max Trax table on the passenger side as well. If you're looking to just have a little, little happy hour cocktail with a, with an easy to set up outdoor table. When we're talking about the interior of, of the Baja, they basically have three layouts that you can choose from. And then additionally, you could go fully customized if, if that's what you're interested in, in doing. The inside has a queen size bed. And then above the queen size bed, there is a skylight that opens has different different levels as to how far it can open has bug screen has a blackout cover as well um, there is a dinette that can convert into a bed so you know basically they say that you can sleep about four people in here um, two, two in the queen mattress and then and then two down on the bed it just depends on how comfortable you are lying really close to each other is what it comes down to definitely definitely two adults and two kids no problem. Um, the interior also has a 30 gallon water tank and then there's the water pump for that. So that's basically powering um, or providing water for your interior sink and then for your exterior shower. There is, there is climate control. So you can run the, there's a, there's a heater that runs off of, uh, I believe it runs off the furnace 
can run off electric and then I also believe and that's if you're like plugged into into power and then it can also run off of the motor from the vehicle if the vehicle is running uh, there is hot water so you have the instant hot water set up and that can go both to your sink and also to your exterior shower and then there is the fan set up um, the fan set up on the roof so there, there's tons of windows on it you, you can basically get 360 degree uh, almost 360 degree I don't believe there's a window out the front but you get almost 360 degree uh, viewing outside and, and light coming in and then additionally you can open those windows open the um, open the skylight and then crank that fan on and you get a ton of airflow through there we, we spent spent plenty of time in the middle of the day uh, as you saw after after mountain biking and then and then also we were in there eating lunch after after we went paddle boarding and it was um, it was cool like it, it, it was definitely comfortable in there and, and I think that I think the midday temperature out here right now was like in the high 80s, something like that. Additionally, there's cabinetry. So there's plenty of space to, to store stuff and, and there's a fridge inside as well. Now there's an inverter and so there's plugs inside. You can charge, you know, plugs for laptops, blow dryers, um, all your electronics like that, your household electronics. And then there's also the USB plugs if you need to charge your phone or, or you know anything like that as far as power goes there's plenty of power inside of this thing so there's a lithium battery power bank and that powers everything inside we didn't have any problems when we were on the trip with um, having to, con to conserve battery between it charging when you drive and then the solar on top um, yeah we just we, we never had to worry about it I don't think we ever came down below a quarter of, of what was available for the power source. And, uh, you know, we were running laptops and, and doing stuff with cameras and charging all that stuff. So it, it, it didn't seem to be a problem at all. There's lighting everywhere in the Baja. So you can make it like daylight if you want to. There are dimmable LEDs on the ceiling. There are reading lights above the bed. Additionally, there are lights, floor lighting, below the bottom of the kitchenette. There are under cabinet lightings and then there are, there's light above the, above the cabinets as well. So you can make it as bright as you need it to. A vehicle build like the Baja serves a specific purpose within the spectrum of overland vehicles. We hope this video has helped you decide if a build like this or the Baja specifically is the vehicle for you. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and find us on all social media avenues at Rogue Overland. We'll see you on the trail.